many things, but but um, to do to have the, that we all do a set of tools. Everybody knows at every kind of moment, which is my role, which is the tool I have to use, both in game, out game. Uh, have a bigger picture of. First thing was structure about around the tournaments. I said we we are playing too many tournaments because you will burn out before we even reach the important tournaments. You don't have more energy. So we need to know what is the bigger purpose of Astralis. Where do we want to go? Win next tournament? They said. They said no, 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 no. Much bigger. Not not on a competition level. What do you want to achieve? What is your dream? Maybe it's an individual dream, but I need to create a common dream. This is the Astralis dream. That everybody has a, some percentage, a little piece of that dream inside themselves. Otherwise, we don't know which direction do we have to pull everybody. Then one is pulling here, the other one from behind. One is from behind, uh, from in front, and one from left and one from right. And we don't get anywhere. Then we are good, okay, we can win the tournament once in a while, but we need something bigger. So the first thing we did was way too many tournaments. And I said, when I came in, you said to me that before we reached the first break, you were so tired. Be and you did 14 tournaments or something like that. Okay, this split. We do 11 tournaments. No, no, no. I said, but what is, what is better? That you do all the tournaments at 60% of your maximum potential? Or you do 11 tournaments at maybe 90%? How is it most likely that we win most tournaments? Would you have 14 or, or the 11? <coughs> Yeah, maybe the 11. Yes, and that's right. And then, yeah, they, now I think, now it's actually the players coming to me and said that at the beginning you actually kind of introduced that we could work like this and that. I said, oh yeah, true. Now they are asking for all the tools I had to put back in the box because I brought way too many at the beginning. So that is actually really nice. I know that we have chosen people we know at least I know that they know sports, that they know high performance teams, and they know high high performance, what it does to the to the individual. So they know that uh, we need to treat them specially. It's not just a doctor, but it's a sports doctor. And he knows if you're under pressure and you need to deliver every day, how should I deal with those people? We also de de developed um, refresh coach education where Sonic, Sonic was the first one in. But of course here we will have two more and I want all three of them doing the coach education together because that is actually nothing to do with esports, but it has something to do with coaching other people. One of my first questions at the very first meeting was, when do you stop normally as an esport athlete? Round 25, they said. They said, but why? Yeah, people, they have burnouts. They say, but why do they have burnout then? They say, it makes no sense, 25, you're still so young. If you could explain me that, okay, then your reactions, they're so slow. But, uh, but I, I knew for a fact that, okay, that might be a little difference, but it's so little that it doesn't make sense because with the experience, you just, you're situated in the right place, so you don't need the reaction. So you compensate, you know? And they said, why, why don't we try to move from 25 to 35? So your time frame, look at what you can achieve in 10, 10 more years. Because that was what I experienced in handball when I started. An old handball player, he was more than 30. More than 30 was really, whoa, look at him, he's 32, you know, he's really, he's old. But I stopped at 41. Look at Umayyah, our good friend and idol for everybody. He's, yeah, he's like me, he's 42. And I believe he just renewed one year, so he will at least play to 43. And I said, guys, during my 20 years of my career, because of professionalism, because of performance teams behind, because of our understanding on how do you take care of yourself, physically, mentally, mentally, all those things, then suddenly it actually moved from 30 something to 40 something. And I said, we can do the same. I am quite convinced that we can do the same in esports and I think that is what we are going to see in the future.